Hello everyone and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a bunch of my recent favorites as well as my disappointments. I definitely skipped over February. We're now 10 days into March. I don't know what it is but every February feels like it goes by so quickly probably because there aren't as many days. Even though we got an extra day still went by in a flash. So in this video I have mostly makeup products as well as a skincare product and some lifestyle things. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. So I think I'm gonna kick this video off with the lifestyle things first. And I wanna talk about the deodorant I completely fell in love with in the past few months. I completely went through this one here, the, the fragrance free one, it's completely empty. And then I purchased this one a few weeks ago. They're the same, this one just has a fragrance. This is the charcoal and magnesium one. It smells, it smells like the Tatcha water cream. This is a natural deodorant, so there's no aluminum and no artificial fragrance and a bunch of other things. But this is the first natural deodorant that actually worked for me. I've gone through so many natural deodorants and every time I would get a tad bit stressed or my anxiety would kick up just a little bit, bam, I would I'd be stinky. And you know, I don't want that. But this is the first one that actually worked for me. And this one's really cool because it's like a paste in a stick form. I did have one natural deodorant that I did really enjoy, but it was in like a little, it was like in a little tub and you had to scoop it up with your nail and I didn't like that whole thing. I would always have to like wash my hands and things like that and I found that I would reach for my non-natural deodorant over that one just because of that. It feels like a little bit grainy when you're applying it, which is a little bit weird, but it honestly works so well and it just kind of melts on your skin and just dries down because I think this charcoal really absorbs all of the bacteria that makes you smell and it's just such a lovely deodorant. I can't recommend this enough. The next item was actually my Christmas gift from my boyfriend. Uh, this is the Intax Mini Link. Basically, it's like a Polaroid printer, so it has an app attached to your phone that you can print any picture you take with your phone. And it's really fun because you can add like little filters and little like stickers and things like that. I think it's so much fun. And why I fell in love with this is because we actually brought this to my friend's engagement party and it was so awesome because I've been to so many weddings that they have like a little Polaroid booth and so many of the films get wasted because when people get a little bit drunk and tipsy, they take dumb photos or they don't know how it works. So that just eliminates all that waste and you don't waste the film, which is awesome because the film is like a dollar per, per photo. Gets very costly, especially for weddings or engagement parties and things like that. So this was just like a lifesaver at that party. All you have to do is get the app. We had an iPad beside that had all instructions and everything. And it's really nice because then you get to print the photo that you actually like and you're not like blinking or anything. And it also eliminates you having to carry your chunky Polaroid camera around with you so you can just take your photos on your phone and then when you get home you can print the ones you like and you can make duplicates if you want to give one to your friend. So if you're thinking about getting a Polaroid camera I would highly recommend this over that. I love it so so much. My next favorite are my vitamins. I've seen such amazing results since I started taking them and it's only been two and a half-ish months and I get my vitamins from Care Of and I've never been so consistent with my vitamin taking. I've had my eyes on Care Of for so so long. I never purchased it because before these were plastic packs but now they changed it into compostable packs so that just made me feel so much better about it. What really drew me in is the little daily packs. I thought it was going to be such a time saver for me. Previously with my vitamin taking I been really really bad. I don't like unscrewing the little bottles. I was always too lazy to do it and I just wouldn't take my vitamins. Plus it is in a super cute little box that comes each month. So each little pack, I have five different vitamins. I'll put a picture here of all the ones I have in here, but I've noticed such a huge difference. In a recent video, I showed you guys my new hair growth and look at all my little baby hairs. Even my eyebrows are getting thicker and so are my lashes. So it's just been amazing. And my nails have been really awesome as well. And I've just felt a lot more energized and healthy. And another thing that I think helps me with that consistency is each little packet comes with a little fun fact or a quote on them every day. And I love fun facts. I'm a little bit of a nerd in that way. Every time that something gets a little awkward, I'm like, let me just throw a little fun fact in here just to make it a little even more awkward. How about that? Okay, I would really recommend this service. I have seen such amazing results. Now let's get into the makeup products. So the first one I wanna talk about is 
the Lila B bronzer. It is so stunning. I'm wearing it today. I love how it's dual sided. So one side is a matte and the other side has some shimmer in it, but it's like a very pearly shimmer. There's no visible chunks of glitter or anything like that. So it just adds such a beautiful radiance to your skin. I've been completely in love with it ever since I tried it out the first time. I don't think I've reached for another powder bronzer since. It's just so, so amazing. Uh, the only downside with this is the shade range. This is the only one they offer. I would love to see a shade expansion in there because everyone needs to experience the magic that is this bronzer. It is so beautiful and it lasts such a long time on my skin. It's just the best. Just Lila B, please. Shade extension in a lot of your products, please, please. I've got a lot of blushes I want to talk about. I have three different formulations right here. So the first one I want to talk about is the new M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Faded Clementine Blush. I'm wearing this blush right now on my apples and my cheeks and all the way across my nose bridge, also on my forehead and on my chin. This is such a stunning blush formula. It is a baked one and it has these beautiful reflective pearls in them. They're very tiny. There's no visible flecks of glitter or anything like that, once again, which is very important for me. This is magical. It gives such a beautiful radiant glow to your skin and it's such a gorgeous shade for the upcoming seasons. Spring and summer, I see myself using this one a lot. It has kind of like an orangey base to it and then the pearlescence is gold. So it just gives you those summer vibes, you know? Here is the Heaven's Glow Magic Hour blush, which is a peach base with a pink reflect. So they're both very different. They kind of look similar in the pan, but once they're on the cheeks, they perform a lot differently. It kind of brings out the vibrancy in them. It's really neat. It's such a unique formula and I can't recommend these enough. They're beautiful. I'm such a big fan of orangey blushes. I think they're just so cute. While we're talking about the Faded Clementine collection, I just wanted to mention the lip. I'm wearing it right now with the MAC Strip Down lip liner, but this is such a beautiful color. This came out a long, long time ago, like when M Cosmetics did their rebrand and their relaunch. This was one of their first lips they launched, I think, but I never got my hands on it until this collection launch. They also have a gloss, but I would recommend this one the most because then you can kind of get multiple lip looks if you want to. You can wear it matte like I am today, or you can add a little bit of a balm underneath if you want more of a satin texture, or if you have a clear gloss, you can add it on top and it will like transform into the gloss version of this. So I would highly recommend the lip cloud version over the lip gloss. I just think it's a lot more versatile and the color is so fun. I'm so excited to wear this all summer long. I love the burnt clementine shade because it doesn't pull red at all. I think it's really unique and I'm so happy to have it and I would recommend it full heartedly. The M Cosmetics lip clouds are my favorite matte lip formula just because they're super super comfortable on your lips and they just feel like a moussey texture so they don't really enhance the lip lines too too much. They're just a very comfortable matte lip. The most comfortable I've come across that's for sure and they come in the most gorgeous shades. Let's get back to the blushes. The second one I wanted to talk about is the K.R. Weiss blush in the shade Desired glow. Oh my goodness, this is a gorgeous blush formula. This is so pricey, it hurts my soul. But if you're someone who loves cream products and you have a very minimalistic collection, I would highly recommend this because it is refillable. Um, you just buy the packaging once and then once you get through it, you buy a refillable pan and I think that's just so nice for multiple reasons. I would highly recommend this blush. It is such a lovely formula. It is the most... I know people hate when I say buttery texture, but I don't know what else to say. Please recommend me another word instead of using buttery. This formulation is so nice because it's so non-streaky, but it gives such a beautiful glow to your cheeks without feeling greasy or anything like that. And it is also a non-tacky formula, so your hair doesn't get stuck in it if you are in the wind or anything, or if you do like a little sassy hair flick, it's not gonna get stuck on your cheeks. Beautiful, beautiful blush formula. Can't get enough of it. The last blush I wanna talk about is one that I've spoken about a lot on my channel recently, and this is gonna sound redundant, but it's the MAC Glow Play blushes. These are just so, so unique. They're seriously little captured clouds of magic. These are the best if you love the blendability of a cream and you love the effect of a powder. This just has it all. They also have this really unique shine to them that looks glossy. It's like a little pearl, but I don't know. It has like a different glow to it. I don't know what's in here, but it's very, very unique. I'm not gonna speak too much about them because you guys already know I'm such a fan of these. The last favorite is one that is super unexpected to me. I was not expecting to love this product at all. I almost passed this on right away without even trying it, but I'm so happy I tried it out. It's the Huda Beauty Wishful, the 
Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. This is amazing. I, I have this problem where I never trust like makeup company skincare brand. I don't know why, but this stuff is amazing. It has pineapple enzyme, papaya enzyme, AHA, and BHAs. And I love this because it doesn't have any physical graininess or anything like that. So it's not gonna create any micro tears on your skin. It's one of those that kind of pill up once you start rubbing it into your skin and it just becomes a gentle, gentle exfoliator through that. Sadly, the stuff that pills is not all your dead skin. It's actually the product and maybe, maybe a touch of your own skin, but it just turns into a very gentle scrub. I've tried a lot of products like these but this one is super effective because it does have all those acids in there and I've noticed such a difference in the texture as well as my dark spots and my old acne spots because of all these acids they really get in there and they work and oh my goodness my skin I feel like has never been so smooth and I've noticed the healing process of my acne it goes by so much quicker. I use this twice a week because it is quite intense. I might work myself up, but that's how much I've been using it right now, and I've noticed such an amazing difference. And I was really nervous when I saw Susan Yara talk about this on her channel because I was already loving it so much. I didn't want to hear any bad things, but she really loves it as well, so I'm like, perfect. Her skin is majestic, and if she likes it, I like it. This was so surprising to me, but I really, really love this, and it's one of my staples in my skincare routine as of now. Now let's get on to my disappointments. So the first one is probably the one that broke my heart the most, and it is the new Bite Agave Plus Intensive Lip Mask. They reformulated this because they wanted to go completely vegan, but sadly, this is horrible now. When I first received this in the mail, I thought it was gonna be the same because the textures were fine. The only thing that I noticeably changed when I first tried it was there was not the sweet taste anymore. It's just like more of a bland lip balm, um, but this doesn't do anything. It almost makes my lips peel even more. I don't know how that's possible, but it's so, so sad. I have three tubes of the original, so I'm gonna have to control my portions of this because I'm gonna try to l make this last for life. That's definitely not gonna be possible, but I don't know what I'm gonna do after I'm done these three tubes. This is a tragedy because previously this was the thing that worked for my lips so well. It would heal my lips overnight. I put this on every night, loved it so much. It was the best lip care product that they ever came out with and it's ruined. Gone, done. I'm hosting a funeral. So one that I found that actually works really, really amazing and I do really love it is the Fresh Sugar Lemon Hydrating Lip Balm. I love this one very, very much. It's the one that's been living on my nightstand. I use it every night and I'm going through it like crazy. I love this one so, so much. I would recommend getting this over the new reformulated one if you don't have any of the old version of the Bite Mask. Another disappointment of mine is the RMS Uncover Up Concealer. I gave this a fair shot. I think I've tried this four or five times and you recently saw in my last video how it betrayed me it creased like crazy it's too emollient i really wanted to love this i was hoping it'd be as good or even better than the glossier one i had such high hopes for this concealer but sadly it didn't have enough coverage and it creased on me like crazy it had no wearing time at all it was separating and creasing and making it look like i had so many other wrinkles that i actually don't have just from my natural muscle movements it just gathers in whatever expression you do this is a huge no from me i would not recommend this at all and another concealer i was very saddened by is the dior forever skin correct i'm really sad that this one didn't work out steve's being bratty i think he wants to say hi say hi okay oh get your cat butt out of my frame but anyways, where was I? This concealer, sadly, it was way too dry and way too texture enhancing under there. I think it's because it's more of a matte formulation. So once it dried down on me and set, it just kind of retracted and kind of just like did the raisin thing under my eyes. I gave this one a fair shot as well. I think I've tried this like three or four times and every time I just was really not a fan. It really makes your under eyes look cakey and it's very visible that you're wearing makeup. This one, Big no-no for me, which is crazy because I don't think I've ever disliked a Dior product. And my last disappointment is the fourth ray, Radiate Vitamin C Elixir. 
This I wanted to love so much because it is such an amazing price point and I also wanted to start including a vitamin C in my skincare routine, but sadly every single fourth ray product I try breaks me out like crazy. I don't understand why. I'll use it and the next day I have all these little surface level little whiteheads everywhere in this area. I tried this out again this week and for a few days and again right in this area these little white dots. It's so weird which is really sad because the price point is amazing and I just really want to love it. Plus look how freaking cute this whole thing is. It's like a little cocktail. I just wanted to put that out there, share my experience and sadly this did not work for me. But those are all the products I'm going to be sharing with you today. I would love to know in the comments what products you have been loving or products you've been disappointed in. I'm always curious. But that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up. It would help me out so much. I'll make sure to link all the products I mentioned in the description down below as always. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.